Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to News Report with Zyori and Hyper number 9. I'm Zyori, that's Hyper. We're going to tear up some Dota 2 and keep you up to date on news or lack thereof this week, maybe a little bit from the last two weeks. So you can be the recurring trend. I am still completely melted in the brain section. Josh, I drove across the country <laughs> over the past four days. I was on the road for 15 hours yesterday. Wow. Dang. How are you, Josh? I don't know. Did you do anything nearly that impressive this past week? Well, I, I drove. I drive two hours every day to and from work. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure I would fall asleep at the wheel at that rate. Well, my dad did all the driving. I was really just a passenger, but it was still boring as so. <laughs> hell. <laughs> but, that is uh, still pretty boring. It was but, like, okay. You can, like, the, yeah. It's cool. You can really see the terrain. Blankets. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. I had a blanket and I had this pillow. I was lounging. <laughs> the problem with the moving trucks, it has the, the like rigid back, so the seats don't recline at all. So you have to sit super upright the entire time. Oh. That was really the worst part, but it was fun. You know, my dad and I bonded and stuff. So um, I missed pretty much yeah, everything in the real world. I call it a, a working vacation, really. I, I had to work. Or at least my body felt like it had to work for like the entire week, but I got absolutely nothing done. Now I get home and it's like, I look at my to-do list and it's like, holy Toledo, Josh. Got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> and of course, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the beach today. All right, anyway. Um, so, wow. Has anything... I mean, I know the, the, the Democratic and Republican conventions are going on right now. What the, Any big debacles on that department, Josh? Uh, uh, not too much. The Democratic one was this past week. And... I don't know. A lot of people talk. There were like a lot of celebrities that talk. Like the big thing about the Republican convention was they had Clint Eastwood. He was like, they're a rogue celebrity that wow. did some crazy chair speech and everything. And Clint Eastwood, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You have to like YouTube it to see this. Uh, it's uh, quite a unique speech that he gave. Wow. Well. I believe it. I heard that. I was watching Bill Maher last night, and he, I mean, of course he was making fun of the conservatives, because that's what he does, but um, he, he sort of said the same thing. Apparently, and Jay Leno made a joke about uh, hookers. Apparently, my dad told me they've documented that, like, when the conventions are in town, they have to, like, bring in, like, yep. hookers yep. from I saw that too. other places. And apparently that's been going on for a long time, and it's completely real that, like, that, you know, he was saying, like, all the traffic on uh, 95 was because all the hookers are trying to drive to Charlotte, and I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's just ridiculous. My dad's like, yeah, seriously, our politicians love it. They don't even try to hide it. And I'm like, cheese and crackers. I feel like <sighs> the media needs to shed more light on it. There's, I don't know. I caught that yeah. story too. It's like one of those things they just say it. They don't go into any details whatsoever. They just say, oh, yeah, something gonna happen. Exactly. So, uh, other, I guess we, we should talk about stock a little bit, at least mention that Facebook's up just a pinch. It's up, like, what, 7% or something? Yeah, Almost Facebook it, was going down, but then, like, halfway through the week, Mark Zuckerberg said that he's going to hold the stock for a year. He's not going to sell anything, and I don't know. I guess that spurred investors to be like, yeah, Facebook's got a chance, and much, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess they started buying it again. But the big thing this week was the... Uh, European Central Bank approved like this bond buying uh, scheme for uh, basically all the countries in the Euro can apply for it. And that's why stocks these past two days have gone crazy as far as banks and everything. I kind of missed it. I haven't really been uh, paying attention the past few days. So by crazy, do you mean good or they're all just crazy good? Okay. Wow. They've gone up like all the banks have gone up like 7 to 10%. Which, when you look at their capital, that's like ten billion dollars in valuations for all of them. Wow! It's like between like yeah, five and ten billion valuations for all the big banks. That's pretty intense. You know, I actually saw an article about Zynga, and uh, it wasn't it wasn't good. They kept calling Zynga social media, which I guess technically it is, but the article seemed to be a little bit confused. And um, Josh, you know, in Wyoming. The news there is hysterical. It, it's like, it's like what what we're doing right now is better than the news in Wyoming. Like the local news is ridiculous. It is so they have like the world's shittiest green screen, and it's like you know all like jumpy around their heads. It's probably just a green sheet. Uh, yeah, seriously, and it's like it's ridiculous. I was watching. I was like, Dad, is this serious, dude? They were covering the high school football team. That was their sports section. Wyoming literally has zero sports teams. Think about that. So they like man. go to the high school and they like have cameras. They're like filming the high school kids practice, man. It's like 
Yeah, they were that desperate for news. And that was yeah, like in the capital of the state, news, in yeah. Cheyenne. I'm sure it's like that for some of those Midwest states that are uh, kind of empty. <laughs> kind of empty, yeah, they're very empty. Yeah, I don't know. I remember going through Nebraska because, yeah, we took a family trip a long, long time ago from uh, New Jersey to Seattle. I remember really? going through Nebraska, and I just remember seeing nothing but corn and pitch darkness forever. Nebraska is terrible. It's it's bugs kind of like night. the western Pennsylvania. It was ridiculous. Uh, yeah. There was no light anywhere in all directions on the highway. Because, yeah, we went. Uh, my dad did all the driving back then, too, because I couldn't even drive. That's how far back it was. None of us could drive. Yep. But that was pretty intense. Good sightseeing, though. Yeah, it is. It is very scenic out there. It's very pretty, but it's just, it's really not that bad. Pennsylvania is the worst because you start with some long states. Wyoming's long, Nebraska's long, but then you hit like Iowa, Ohio, and Indiana, and they're really short, so you feel like you're making really good time. Like, yeah, all right, we're almost there. One state to go. We're in Pennsylvania, but Pennsylvania is like seven hours long. That last two hours in Pennsylvania is brutal. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, what are we playing? Did we decide on a combo for this week? I feel like we should do something oh. interesting. Switch it up a little. So I felt inspired by the international. Did you go like Mage Bane or Naga Siren? All right, go Naga. Because, okay. Naga's Naga's a little more fun, I think. Yeah. Um, I was really yeah. I watched all the games and all of them had like Mage Bane. So like, let's get you know Mage what? Bane farm out of control. How about if I pick Venno and support you? That might work pretty well. Slither. Sound good. Slither. Sounds good. All right. So that sounds fine. I'm not particularly good at him, but I think we're a pretty good combo. Or you could pick more flame and oh. steal from that guy on our team. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. <clears throat> um, yeah. After watching international, though, there's some heroes that I want to learn how to play. Oh yeah. Well, that, that's a good a good starting place. The international man. I was blown away. I mean, I I didn't get to watch nearly as much of it as I would have liked because I had to cast during some of it, and also. Um, Sunday I was in the airport, so I, I had to watch the finals via VOD, but I really liked it. I, I thought it was just a really well-run tournament, like you were saying that the panel was really cool. I liked Bruno and all the other guys. I was just impressed. I thought it, I thought it was cool. Stack guy. Yeah, the stack guy. I, I really thought that legs thing was hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah. He always pulled out some weird, unique analysis of the games. He's like, this team is all girls. <laughs> I think he said during one of them, but but yeah, I did catch that no legs game where it's like I guess I invented Mancer. They had like a yeah, we might have to go top. Or this guy's gonna be a jerk. I think they had Pyromancer on that team, but he said that she floats, so she doesn't count. Yeah, exactly. That was it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> She's, and even if she did have legs, she only has two. Unlike the other team that had like Broodmother with eight legs. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, I guess Weaver. I don't know. I, I didn't actually see the game. I just saw the clip. So so what's your level up on this character? I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played it. Oh, you've never played Naga? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have peer pressured you. Um, I can I handle know. it. I usually level up in Snares, the primary. And Snares good. It goes through like BKB and everything. It's like technically physical, so it's like super oh, imba. Nice. Uh, Riptide, like, when you, if you make illusions, they'll blow up and then blow up at every illusion, but they'll only do one instance of damage, even if all the illusions are on top of somebody, uh, so... Oh, okay. I, I usually do, like, that. ensnare one in image, ensnare, and then ensnare Riptide all the way, and then level up image later on. It's really good for pushing, but, I don't know, if we push hard, then maybe he get it early. I've only played her a few times, that, that's what I do, uh -oh. at least. Oh, god, I got 500 MS. Uh oh, Josh. Oh, this is gonna be impressive last hitting. This last hitting, man. It, I may be struggling. I, mean. I haven't played in a while either, so I'm I'm really not worried about. Oh god, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh god, I'm lagging too. I think this oh, is. Oh, I, I think that was like oh, I think that was global lag for a second. Except now you're getting destroyed. No, it's because I was. I think it's fine. Oh, okay. Oh shit! I should have picked Lion. I like Lion. Lion is. Oh. Shit, man! I can't do anything. The hell, Venomancer has really shitty range. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, did, How'd you do that? I, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I didn't realize it was this shitty. It's kind of, it's kind of crippled. But yeah, the international. Just, did you see the championship? The uh, Navi versus uh, I forget. Ig. Ig. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I watched the bods. I was pretty into it. It just seemed like Naga was really, really broken. That was my takeaway from that series. 
Oh, I, I remember one game. It was, it was awesome where they had uh, they picked Naga and they picked Dark Spear and uh, Dragon Knight. Yep. And that combo. Oh my God, that combo. Yeah, it was pretty sick. I was watching it on my laptop, just sitting there, like, Dad, oh my God, this is intense. And he was just like, Oh, I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it. <laughs> Go, I'm driving. I'm, I've been driving for ten hours. <laughs> no, I, I watched it at my grandparents. I was like, we, we stayed there. I mean, we got there Saturday, I guess, and um, or no, Sunday. In the afternoon, and then like we hung out with family, and like we um, stayed at my uncle's house Monday night, so it wasn't all just driving. But yeah, I I did watch it, and it was awesome. So what kind of real news do we have for the day, Josh? Lay it on me, good buddy. Uh, I'm trying not to lag for one second, but uh, but going on a little bit on why the stocks rallied. The uh, European Central Bank approved a bond buying thing, and on Friday is when they released like the monthly job reports and everything and the US didn't have that good report they unemployment rate went down but overall there's just not adding jobs fast enough and so they think that because the European like this is kind of like the government and everything stepping in to do a stimulus mm -hmm. and they think this is gonna trigger Ben Bernanke to do another stimulus of some sort stimulus so, so. Like, they're just gonna give money out that kind of stimulus well, they they stimulate the bank. It's it's this gets really complicated you can on how they do this. Uh. It gets really, really complicated on how to do this. It's called um, quantitative easing, is what they usually call it. What they've done, and what they do is they start buying long-term bonds, I think, and this drives down the rate. This drives down the interest rate on bonds, but hmm. that increases the price of bonds. Um, so basically, the government get more money because the bond price goes up, and that's basically yeah, that basically gives the government more money, more bang for their uh, bond for like their thousand mm -hmm. bonds and everything. And by driving down interest rates, you make like companies and everything have to like repay less money, and then on top of that, it stimulates it encourages people to instead invest in the stock market and companies. And oh, because like the return on bonds gets so low that it's more favorable to try to uh, invest in stocks and everything. So uh, it's, it's really this like crazy chain reaction, and that's like one of the main ways that the, uh, the government tries to uh, stimulate the economy. And it's basically what the European Central Bank has done. And there's a good possibility they've been talking about for months and months um, about doing another round. This will be the third round, when I think, of quantitative easing is what they call it. Oh, I see. Because um, they've done this before in the past, and they don't necessarily want to do it if they don't have to, but, like, everything, nothing's been improving at a really significant rate, so. Yeah, I uh, slowed him. Oh, shit. I'm going to net him. I'm going to path block him. Yeah, yeah, that's first what I'm block. talking about. This guy's dead too. You could probably get this guy if I can path. Oh no, I'm terrible. I my passive slows him though. Oh shit, creeps! Uh oh. <laughs> Did you see that? The creeps. Yeah. Well -time creep spawn. <laughs> he got stuck. <laughs> Poor guy. That's nice though, dude. We just got uh, first blood. Pretty solid. What happened? That was a double tap. We yep. Double kill. First blood and a double kill. I'm happy. It's a good way to start this game off. That's what I'm talking about, sir. With 500 MS. Oh, I'm pretty shit. sure that's what I'm still at. Alright, I'm about to just go back. Jesus. Oh, shit. <laughs> Creeps were wrecking me. Creeps were wrecking me, too. So, well, that's so, good news, then, I guess. Overall, we, uh, our stocks are going to rally. Unfortunately, I don't own any bank stocks, so I guess I don't really reap the... Oh, God, he level doomed <laughs> me. No. <laughs> he did the math. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, so... Um... <laughs> So bad. We did an awesome plan. Then I'm just like dur -dur -dur, derping around and get level death. I should go back. I should go back. Uh, I'm gonna stay here. Oh, I wait. should go back. Uh, I'm just gonna stay here and jerk off a little longer. Um, I almost had song. Don't worry. I'll, I'll be level six then by the time you get back. I'll get all the XP. Yeah. I mean, we can. I still. We, I mean, if we still do a lot of damage. What we just did, we can go over again. I have a ring now. At least so we have I like. I, I have five last hits. I'm pretty sure like them are heroes if that even counts. I'm, I'm nine and five in last hits, man. Like Jesus. I can't do I dude, I'm like it's so bad. Like, oh go 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 go. Do something. I hit them both. 
I have I have a potion. I'm gonna back up and use it. Run up. Keep going, Hit keep going. Hit this guy! Hit this guy! Keep going, yeah. stay on this guy also. Oh man. Got, got all my no, wait, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh shit. No, I, I backed up by Brutes. I have zero mana. Oh man. I didn't have my thing coming I'm... up quite fast enough. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think he did. Oh man. I don't know if these guys are bad. I'm pretty sure they're bad. I'm not they're gonna say that I'm good. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that I'm good. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that I'm good. <laughs> Uh, I need to get a magic wand. All right, well, here let me—I'll give you a potion, okay? Uh, I have a potion. Oh, no mana. I'm gonna stay back. You're at full health, dude. Well, almost. That's why I was confused. And why you're gonna give me a potion? I was like, I have mana or health. All right, so level six now, so I can put people to sleep if you really want. To. He just doomed me, man. Uh oh, I might be dead. I'll, I'll kill you. I'll be glad. You might have to. Don't do it yet. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, do it now. No, no, no. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's pretty. I thought Doom was his level six ability, or is he level six? It is. It is. Somehow he hit level six. I didn't think he was either. Hey, the guys. They could have killed me if Lion had hit me. So what else do we have on the list, Josh? I know there's got to be something more exciting in there. If not, we can talk about Obama on Reddit because we didn't get to it last week. Oh, Obama. We can we can go with that a little bit, going on politics. All right. Did you read anything about it all? I saw the actual Reddit post, and from what I understand, it was just a straight up AMA, and it was just like, "Hey guys, Barack here. Proof that it's me." And then it was like a link to the Barack yeah, Obama. Yeah, Twitter. yeah. I like how I like how they did proof. He's like proof that I'm the president. <laughs> it I was so like how he signs his Twitter is like, like POTUS or whatever. I was following him on Twitter, but I had to unfollow him, dude. It was just too much. It was too much? It was just too much. He tweeted so often, and it was always, like, such complete propaganda bullshit. I just couldn't take it any longer. Oh, man. It was fun, and then he started... It was fun until he started retweeting Michelle. I guess he was retweeting, like, parts of her speech from the Democratic oh, convention. But it was so dude, irritating. Michelle's speech. That, that's another thing. Where, like, they, should, they were showing Michelle Obama's speech, and apparently it was pretty epic. People were crying. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what Bill Maher was saying. I mean, I can't imagine her speech was that moving, but I've never really heard her talk, so I guess I... I actually heard parts of it, because I watched The Daily Show and everything, because they... Dude, I don't know how they do this, but, like, The Daily Show gets all their correspondents into the national conventions, and they just ask everyone the most crazy questions. Like, who lets these people in? Yeah. Because they, they, they oh, make the Republicans oh. and Democrats both sound like idiots when they go and ask people questions. Yeah. That's <laughs> who lets these people in. I, who who lets the Daily Show up? Like you gotta know that like yeah. it's not gonna be good for your like party. They're gonna make everyone sound stupid. Yeah, I mean you're right. It, it should be pretty much common sense by now, right? Yeah, they've been around long enough. Cause I know Stephen Colbert. Cause this show's only been around. He was a correspondent, whatever, in the Daily Show. Right. All right. Here, and, let's uh, do something. Oh shit. Go for Lion, maybe. He is pretty squishy. If he pops up again. I don't know why dogs are freaking out. Yeah, if you just net him right away, I'll slow and then ult and he'll be dead. I think I have enough mana. But yeah, I know Colbert for a while. Um, everyone would talk to him and no one knew who he was. And then finally, like after a couple years, they started realizing that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think after Nancy a couple years? It took a few years of him making fun of them to really, for them to really pick up on it. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't think anyone really like watched stuff or like they didn't really watch until like Nancy Pelosi made like a statement to all the Democrats. They're like, you should probably not go on the Colbert Report show at all. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that she did that. She did. She'd be like, she legit set up, yeah, we're not going to do this anymore because it doesn't make us look good. Because wow. yeah, he's he's a little more crazier than uh, John Stewart. Yeah, he goes he's he's a little more intense. John Stewart at least pretends to be a normal person. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I he, I feel like he cares a little bit more about politics. Who, uh, Stewart? John, yeah. Yeah. And Colbert's like uh, yeah, it's all dumb. I agree. I Just the way yeah, agree. Uh, yeah, Colbert would interview his uh his people. That's a big thing you could tell. Yeah. So, all right. So, what else do we have here, Josh? I, I guess uh, I, I'm kind of forgetting my original point now. Oh, wait, wait. We oh. have to kill these guys. I got my oh, ult off. You should do damage. Oh. Shit. 
So I shouldn't use any of your mana. Did they call me off guard? I like when you said that. I looked over my spreadsheet, and then they ran oh, in and killed me. I'm so sorry. All right, all right. Well, now's your chance to look at the spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about Obama, but uh, what else is there? Oh, there was this report. I, I know Carla would like this. There was a report that eating organic food isn't really that much more healthy than just eating normal food. And I've, like I've they did this. That. Yeah, they did this study over like a bunch of years and everything. And they said the only benefit is like you eat like slightly less pesticides, but like it's such a low amount that it really is kind of negligible still. Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of people talk about health, but they're, I mean, I, I think organ a lot of organic stuff does taste a little bit better. It tends to taste a little bit more fresh, a little bit more delicious. In yeah, my, in my limited anecdotal experience, but I think you're exactly right. It really, it's not significantly more healthy for you. And these days, pesticides really aren't that big of a deal, right? Aren't they like... It's not like they're putting DMT on stuff like they used to, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not super bad. Not as bad yet as, like, DDT or whatever. DDT, is that what it is? I knew it was yeah, something pretty sure it was. DMT. That was the stuff they were putting on, and... There was another pesticide, too, that was uh, killing the bees. Making the bees go crazy, basically. Oh, here. Oh man. I was tunnel visioning pretty hard. Oh, my God. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I double clicked it and turned off my ult. Yeah, my yeah. Bad. You, you can time the turning off. I don't mind that you turn it off, I just wish you'd used it earlier. <laughs> they fro I didn't see that. I, I originally saw double damage, something. I didn't see uh, Rubik. Yeah, I didn't see him either. Uh, Alright, we can be aggressive yeah, I though. I mean, we, we can kill stuff pretty easily. Yeah, yeah I, I just wanted to go online, but I oh, have yeah. been playing some bags, I haven't seen them. I've just been seeing this big ass guy. We can't get, when I get up there, just net him right away. Um, so, wow. Well, that's good. I mean, organic stuff is really expensive. I, I asked my grandparents. Yeah, yeah. That was like the big thing. When I was that. doing the vegetarian thing, we tried to get organic turkey for Thanksgiving, and it was like five times as much as a normal turkey. It's pretty. It was, that was an expensive turkey. You know what I mean? So, Doom Guy, go on him? Yep, go, go. Hey, that was a free kill right there. <laughs> That's because Lion's like probably all pre one. But that's all we gotta do, man. Rinse and repeat. Super easy. I just need mana. That's the big thing. Oh, I have another potion. And I have the ring, so. The ring. I like it. Yep, yeah, the ring. So, I, and I know that must make you happy. I know how much you hate organic food, Josh. Uh, I mean, like, because it's so expensive, we really don't buy it. I mean, I really wouldn't care that much. Yeah. But, uh,. But I, yeah, I don't I know. Just, if I was rich, I would shop at Whole Foods all the time. But yeah, I know when I go shopping, it's like, what's the cheapest thing still? I'm not trying to like... Yeah. No. If you have enough to ensnare, we can probably just kill this guy straight up. I'm gonna do it. Oh, he silenced me. God damn it. It's okay. Look how imba your thing is, Dude, man. What is Lion doing <laughs> I don't know, he's, he's AFK probably. If we made him AFK already. We, we scared him, yeah, we're too good, man. <laughs> Let's see, they have so much magic damage, I think I'm just gonna get a pipe. I like it. I like it. I like it. But yeah, the other big, uh, tech news. There's a bunch of, there was a bunch of tech news actually this week, between like Windows saying they're gonna do their, uh, shit, save me. We might be able to just kill him, Josh. He doesn't have anything else to do damage with. Oh, get out of there, um, the yeah. real one! He has an ult, I might be dead. No, I'm fine. So, yeah, the other big news was everyone's, everyone, because the, so there are a bunch of rumors that the iPhone 5 was going to be released in September, and it's been finally confirmed that uh, uh, Apple's at least going to have a big conference on September 12th, I think it is, it's next week. Mm -hmm. Where they're possibly, it's like nothing's for sure, but everyone thinks they're gonna release the iPhone 5. Wow. And oh, that's so, cool. like this, yeah, this week, like Windows 8, uh, Nokia showed their new Windows 8 phone and everything, and uh, Amazon showed their new Kindle, uh, black and white. And everyone showed, oh, watch it, watch out. Ah, oh, shit, oh. Uh, I slowed line. I probably should have been a little more defensive. I don't quite understand when level death is super scary and when it's not. I don't, I don't know any. 
anything about these two, except that they do damage. And that's Witch Hunter. And here's Rubik. Witch Hunter? And yeah. God damn it. It sounds like forever. forever on top, yeah. Pug I haven't seen a Pug in a while. So, any rumor about what exactly the iPhone 5 is going to do? So I know the, the uh, what was it, the 4GS was a little disappointing. Oh, the 4S, yeah. Or, yeah, 4S, sorry. Um, I don't remember exactly why it was disappointing. I guess it was just pretty much like the iPhone 4, except it had a slightly bigger screen or something, or it had a cooler design. Yeah, everyone was expecting the iPhone 5, basically. I don't know. They just released this S that had slightly better, I don't know, stuff. Was there really much improvement out? Like, 5? I don't... Like, it's supposed to have a longer battery life, bigger screen. It's supposed to be thinner. It's supposed to be faster. Um, it may have the new RFI chips or whatever, so you can do, uh... Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Do, uh credit cards and everything on it that's cool yeah that, that, that's really cool technology but like the thing is no one knows for sure yet because they haven't officially announced it there's just like a bunch of people like put everything together by like tracking the companies that supply apple with all the iphone parts yeah they go by like looking at like their increased production everything is how they're trying to like analyze when <laughs> uh apple's going to release it and everything that's pretty funny i mean I don't know. My, my dad really hates Apple. He talked about it a little bit. I mean, he doesn't hate them. I mean, he has an iPhone. He doesn't, like, boycott them. But he's just like, man, I was I was really disappointed to see that they sold out to China. Apparently, like, all like they don't have any American manufacturing anymore. It's all Chinese, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's, like, all sweatshops. They had to put up nets around the buildings because people were jumping out and committing suicide. It's pretty bad, man. Yeah, yeah, there was that bad thing where they had, yeah, they did, like, investigation to Apple because, yeah. yeah, they were having pretty bad living conditions. And Apple keeps on making, I'm pretty sure they're still, it, like, Apple wants to move away from having other people supply them with all the parts of the iPhone. So with their, like, $100 billion they have saved up, they've been looking at more, buying more companies so that they have complete control over everything. Because they still rely on Samsung to do some of their, like, oh, a lot screens. Of it. They bought yeah. Samsung. That was part of the reason why. Apple didn't yeah. buy Samsung. Oh, no, Google did. I'm sorry. Google bought Samsung. But yeah, it's, Samsung helps Apple, though. So, They're like direct competitors. Oh, like, oh, Apple oh. just sued Samsung for a billion dollars in the U.S. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. I was confused in case you're right. That was the whole copyright thing, right? That was Apple and Samsung? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I was confusing. Yeah, Google is the one that bought Samsung for, like, uh, I don't know, some, some billion amount. Uh, maybe. Well, like, they, the deal was, like, signed or whatever, maybe six months Yo, ago. Can, can you hear these dogs? I'm pretty sure they're, like, howling at the moon. I can't hear them at all. Okay, that's but good. But I also have a slight... Well, I have slight music in the background, so that's going to be... Be uh, a little bit of a... That's the right that's word. Good. Filter. Okay. I just want to make sure, because it's, like, ridiculous right now. Oh, we missed. We, we can kill these bros. I put them all to sleep. Oh, okay, Doki. Are you ready? Right. Yeah, tell me when I'm not old. Me. Now. Oh, he ulted me, and I have a hood. Shit, I think I'm dead. Nah, he oh, used like oh, the worst shit. spell imaginable. Oh. oh shit, just keep on going. Yeah, I have phase boots so fast. Oh no. Nice. Phase boots just saved me, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I had to use my song because it's rigged. Alright. So, yeah. I think we were, were we done on that point then? I, every time we talk and then like get into intense action, I forget what we were talking about. I know, about I know, I know. It's hard to remember where we left off. But yeah, Apple, Apple and their phones. They're, they've been going on the size phone number too. Everyone thinks like the iPhone. There, there's like this theory where like the next iPhone sells more than or sells double of what the previous phone sells. Really? It's kind of what they like believe. So like they think this. I think I think they're up to the point where this is supposed to sell like 500 million or whatever um, uh, iPhone fives, and they think it's what's going to carry the stock to a thousand dollars, and be like I think at that point it's like worth a trillion dollars, maybe a trillion dollar valuation, wow. which is kind of ridiculous. That is really ridiculous. I'm gonna throw my net on this guy, maybe. Yeah, no, sure. Go throw for my it. net on Pugna. Oh, I think my slow money missed him. No, they know the real me. The, ch the real oh, me. Oh, kill me! Oh wait, no, no, never mind. I, never mind. I thought I put doom on me, but really just blasted me in the face. Just blasted me in the face. 
Uh, but yeah, big tech stuff coming out this week. Between like this month and like next month, I think like everyone's gonna be releasing their new new electronic stuff. That's pretty exciting. As far as phones, yeah. I mean, I like Windows 8's coming out in October. Uh, Apple's Apple. Windows 8 is coming out that soon. Yeah. I didn't know. Actually, you can technically get it already. You can down. They have like the full like version you can download because they want you to be able to develop like apps for it and everything. Is their big thing. Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. So. Did that mess him? So yeah, I've been debating. I, I might get a Windows phone. We'll have to see how everything turns out. Let's see how everything turns out. But I may. I kind of. I kind of like that. Windows, just because the operating system is Windows. Yeah, the Windows phones historically have not been very good at all. They, they, they've just been so crummy. The operating system that previously wasn't so good. Maybe I, I would hope that they put some more, some more elbow grease into it. Yeah, the Nokia, the new Nokia phone that they showed has been getting like pretty good views from like the bloggers and everything. They did have one slip of the. They like were trying to show that the camera. Like, apparently, the camera on this new Nokia a Windows 8 phone is supposed to be ridiculous. Uh, and the previews they showed for it, they actually used a professional camera. And bloggers call onto this because when you were looking at the video that they were demoing to you, you could see in the reflection of a car mirror that it wasn't a Nokia phone. Huh. It was instead some professional camera they were using, and they said it's to simulate what you would. See if you were looking through a Nokia phone is that's the official so... like announcement of what they said. That's so Microsoft. That is so Microsoft, man. That's just like. Oh, it was Nokia who said that because it's their phone. They run the because uh, uh -oh. Windows. Pretty sure Windows. Yeah. Oh, I Nokia see. is the people who actually handle that stuff. Oh, okay. I thought Microsoft sort of. So, well, I'm sure Microsoft had a hand and either could have either approved that or, or turned it down, and I'm sure Microsoft was all over that idea. That sounds like Bill Gates, you know? Bill Gates, even though he doesn't like making decisions anymore. Yeah, it's still sounds like, It sounds like something he'd get behind, though. <laughs> get behind. Yeah, you know, you know how it is. So, um, cool, cool. Lots of cool tech news coming out. I know. Very exciting. Be excited. Uh, I know you sent me that little thing about uh, the eSports Congress thing. Oh, yeah. So it's it's basically like a worldwide KESPA. KESPA is what I understand of it. Um, it's going to be the first thing ever, and people are being invited. It's open to the public. It's like 10 euro to get in. If you're going to the DreamHack Valencia tournament, like you can get in for free. And it's in like a big auditorium. There's a whole bunch of panels. And it's pretty much just like the CEOs and really important people, like the CEO of EG, Dignitas, um, Kevin Lin, the COO from Twitch. Um, I don't know, a whole, a whole bunch of people. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Sundance will be there, uh, David Ting from IPL, and they're pretty much, nobody really knows what they're going to talk about, I guess. I don't, I don't know if they've actually... Yeah, really... that's that's what I was wondering, what they're going to talk about. I mean, I, I told you about the article about like the next step in esports is making like a giant worldwide like federation or yeah record. exactly and like like someone that regulates esports globally like one entity right hey, yeah and... I agree oh god I might oh, I can't use items damn it I'm coming, I'm I think I'm gonna coming live. with the damage I'm I'm gonna kill this guy yeah I'm coming back kill someone coming back I'm gonna all right tell me what's off I'm gonna ult uh, you can tell me when. All right, now I'm ready. Now. I think I might have missed that Gale. God damn it! I went on. I went on. Of course, I went on this guy, and he. Oh, courier, courier. Like a thousand guys. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to hit that carrier. Yeah, that, that thing's broken. You have to kill all three of them for it to like kill him. Yeah, I want to do that though. Um. Did we die? No. No, we good. Him. But yeah, um, god damn, where were we? <laughs> um, oh, the Esports Congress. So, oh, Esports Congress, basically yeah. what they've been saying is... Um, oh my god, did he... No, he didn't. I thought he stole my song, Siren. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, we, we can probably pressure this a little. Anyway, uh, they're saying they're going to talk really about the business side of things. Part of the problem with Esports right now is there's really no enforceability. Like, 
people have contracts, but like it, it's never the the dollar amounts are really never worth it to like go to court. You know, if a player like breaks his contract or like plays for another team or whatever, like most of the time, right, we might be able to fight this, Josh. I hit all three of them with Yale. Going for Rubik. Oh, I'm a theorist. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Ish Koffel. Ish Koffel. That was that was uh, Dark Seer's name in Dota One. Ish uh, oh. So Dang, um. Guys. But yeah, Congress. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really interesting. Uh, but, but the problem is there's really no enforceability of contracts. You know, like if your salary is two two grand a month as a player, and you're just like screw it, I don't want to play anymore, and you're just like too lazy and spoiled to actually break your contract legally. The company will just dissolve it anyway, they're not going to sue you. I mean, they'll be irritated and they probably won't work with you again, but that's it. It's not going to, like, stop another team from picking you up or anything. So, part of the problem with that is it just limits the professional part of it, and it sort of limits the competition, too, because there's just no accountability. You see people like Naniwa and, and GSL getting all, like, whiny because he didn't like the tournament schedule or something, so he just, like, suicides all of his probes in the first two minutes of the game. You know, and, like, GSL okay. kicks him out, but they let him back in, and that's about it. So you need some sort of a force to be able to enforce that stuff, and also just a governing body to make rules, because right now, like, with tournaments, it's up to the tournament organizers. Like, people are allowed to do whatever they want, so there's an inconsistency in tournaments, and I think it's to everyone's favor kind of to set up a standard of rules and, like, etiquette, uh, whatever the accepted form of true competition is, so that, you know what I mean, there's no question of, like, which tournaments are bigger than others. It's like the NFL. No one cares about the other leagues. Everyone just cares about what position their team is in the NFL. Yeah, yeah, I pictured something like, I don't know, I pictured esports becoming something like tennis where they have grand slams and everything, you have these big tournaments that go like all around the world, but then you also have mini tournaments that you might not necessarily hear about, mm -hmm. and then, I don't know, just setting something up like that where they have rules for everything, yep. and everyone follows them, so I think it's definitely the way the next step esports is going to progress, I guess, as like a global sport. Yep. I agree. So, it'll be interesting. I actually really want to go. I don't know how long it's been announced, but I didn't find out about it until yesterday. And it's on the 21st. It'll probably be at least a grand to, uh, to go and, like, I don't know. You, yeah, you, this you, you can apply to be on the panel. Maybe I should do that. I doubt they'll pick apply. me. Either. I'm pushing top, actually, right now by myself. Oh, God. So, uh, I'm not with you guys. Yeah, I took up this tower. Uh, how are you guys doing there? Should I come down? Yeah, come down. We, I, I got my ults off, so they're all going to be low. Oh, they're all getting low, at least. Damn, never mind. We don't even need you, Josh. You don't even need me. Although, we might be able to kill the bear. Well, I don't know if he's really a bear, but that's what it, he seems like to me. I think he's a bear. It's, the, it's that one, though. That one has, like, a bajillion health. Oh, he's now mortal. He is now mortal. <laughs> oh, dude, the guy, one of the guys we stayed at, on, uh, we stayed in Chicago two nights ago at my dad's uh, vet school roommate's place. He's, um, yeah, he, well, he's he's a cool guy that we could probably talk about also. But um, he had a picture <laughs> in his house of uh, like the actor that they based the character for Kung Lao his moves off of. Like that's a real fighter guy, and he had like a picture of it signed. It's something Martinez. I forget his. Wait, his Kung Lao? Name. I don't. Kung Lao, dude. I don't know who that from is. From Mortal Kombat? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, okay. He's, he's like, I don't know, the Mexican guy. In Mortal Kombat Trilogy, he does that thing where he flips you around and he goes like, We get a boogie! <laughs> he makes a really weird noise. Yo, uh, I'm going to do oh God. something, maybe. I'll save you if I get on thing. I mean, oh, no, I'm going to die. I was saying, I'm, I'm, I'm trying tanky. to sing. I'm trying to know. sing. All right, yeah, just run. I'm going to run. Do you know that you can sing and then pour it out? Yeah. Okay. Five ball ports. I was gonna say, shoot, <laughs> shit, dude. I've got 3k gold. I should finish my pipe, but I'm about to just start working on a butterfly. Yeah, yeah. I saw a heart. Um, it's pretty nice because then my images just get so tanky. I saw in the tournament they just make images and they send them up a lane and they just wreck everything. Yep, that's what you do. So, anyway, this guy, I, I call him Uncle Dan, but uh, Dan. Uncle Dan. <laughs> Well, Dan, Dan is really cool because he, he's been a diabetic since he was about two. You know, he's like a, a, one of those, a real adult onset di diabetes case. Mm -hmm. So he's been just, he just has to give himself insulin to monitor his blood sugar and all that stuff. It's really not that big of a deal. And really, when you have to do it all the time, it just becomes a habit. So 
Um, he never really got into a serious relationship. Well, like, he dated people, but never really took it to the next level, because he was like, you know, I'm gonna die when I'm young, you know, my kidneys are gonna shut down. So he has since gotten a pancreas transplant and a kidney transplant, and he is now perfectly normal. He doesn't have to shoot up insulin anymore, and, like, he's, uh, like, almost, uh, a normal guy. He used to take uh, immunosuppressants, so his body doesn't reject the implants, but... Yeah, yeah. Other than that, he's, like, totally normal, and it's really sick. Like, he was part of the biggest chain of organ donation, because you know how... You have to match blood types and stuff, so it can be hard, and it's best to harvest them right away. So, he had his sister, like, if you want one, you have to have some, you either have to give one yourself or have somebody that's giving one for you. So his sister gave up one of her kidneys to somebody else to get him into the group, and then he got his from just, like, a good Samaritan, just random person that was like, I don't need two kidneys, you can have it, my friend. And, uh, so, but the really weird part is, when they do these for, like, a, the diabetic, they don't replace it, they just put a new one in so he has two pancreases and t three kidneys they just kind of add another one to the chain i didn't know that yeah That's... it's sick he's just like he told me he was just like you know i have two pancreases and three kidneys he's like they don't take them out i was like wow you got that extra room in your body i did not know that that's a. Uh, it's pretty i didn't sick. know that that's pretty crazy if you his name's dan becker you, he they did like pbs interviews and stuff um because it was like a big deal that it was like the biggest chain thing in the world. It was like 11 people were all connected to make it happen. It's pretty intense. What? This guy's got a null stone. Oh. I just wanted to net him and kill him. The wall looks so scary. I know it's on our team, but I still... It's on our team, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to go back, and I finally have enough to buy at least my Reaver for my hard tire skew. Oh my god, what is this idiot doing? Okay, now I'm coming back. I don't know, you guys are just killing everything. Yeah, dude, we're wrecking them. <clears throat> but yeah, that sounds like you had fun. Chicago, though. Yeah, he li Pretty. well, he lives in kind of the suburbs of Chicago. It's uh, technically, tip, uh, technically called Lampertville. So, nice guy, super nice guy. He's a veterinarian also. The only problem with his job is he had to promise his doctor he's not going to get bit or scratched by a dog. Or by an animal. Ouch, that really oh, hurt. did you die? Yeah. I tried to save you at the last a second. A little too slow there, buddy, but I appreciate the notion. I was waiting. I was waiting for the clutch timing, except that you just got blown up. I didn't even see what happened to you. Yeah, well, line's pretty bursty. That's um, great. so next piece of news. Anything else exciting happening on the list? Uh, uh sh sh what do I have? Oh, they had. I don't know. They had one of the another medical like little breakthroughs where. Like, you know how they say, like, only, like, 2% of your actual DNA goes to, like, making up everyone, like, your actual body? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 98% of all of our DNA is exactly the same. Yeah, well, they found out that that's not really right. They found <laughs> out, like, the other 98% is actually really important. And there's, like, all this, like, random, like, protein and stuff. And, and basically, they just, like, it blew their mind. They're like, okay, I'm back to square one. We got to look at everything now. <laughs> That's kind of so, funny. Yeah, little, little, little news here and there. Not, not too much to go on yet. I guess, like, eventually, like, at least this will further their progress and understanding. Once they, like, start unrunning the other 98%, they'll be able to, like, I don't know, cure cancer. I don't know, cure... Yeah. Bunch of stuff. It's yeah. It, that's the kind of the problem with science. I'm, we're one of the. Uh, my dad and I were watching a lot of UFO, alien, and like Area 51 interviews and testimonies oh. and stuff <laughs> while we were driving. Dude, it passes the time in the car. So I could talk about aliens for like. Dude, listen, I we listened to like probably eight hours worth of interviews. Like, there's this guy named Victor who had only come on with a voice changer, and he claimed to be like uh, a, a guy that used to work for the. He'd be in the military and. Uh, he, for whatever reason, was in Area 51, and he was able to smuggle out a three-second clip of an alien interview, and he answered all these questions about what's really going on in Area 51, but he said he's like, you know, won't show his identity because, obviously, stealing classified, like, data is, you know, ten years in butt-pounding prison. Yep. So, but, so, you know, it's sort of like, if it's real, and it really is an employee that worked in Area 51 that wanted to leak the information, he would probably have to do it that way, you know? So it's one of those things where even though you can't prove it, and it might be wishful thinking, it's still, there's, you know, sort of a, a chance or whatever that it's, it's real. I don't know, I feel that the government is smart enough that you could call it. Like, yeah. I don't know. They're, they're so good these days, like. That's, that's kind of what I thought. So, well. 
that's like yeah well it's so not like the movies it's not like you see our like army is a lot better smarter everyone's a lot better and smarter than that yeah well i mean you're you're absolutely right but it's one of the, i just used my pipe i don't know why the tower was killing him and i was like pipe <laughs> Um, I mean, you're absolutely right, but still, I believe that it might be possible, and that, and that was the whole thing, it's like, three minutes of, like, really crappy footage, so it could be the fact that it's staged, but he was saying, like, you know, one of the questions I asked him was, like, well, could you go back in and get more, more footage, and he said, no, like, this was a one-time thing, like, that, there was, this was a very specific time in our history where things were really disorganized, and there was, like, a lot of chaos, and that's the only time you would ever be able to sneak any kind of data out, and that's why I was able to get it, and he said, the three-minute clip was absolutely the largest thing that I could quote smuggle out but he wouldn't really say exactly how he got it out so anyway it, it was like interesting enough and sort of realistic enough that it's like i don't necessarily believe it but i believe that this guy there is some are you guys ready are you guys I'm ready, ready for this just tell me one uh when damn dude dark seer combo yeah dude that dark seer that's exactly what happened and Navi versus uh, the other team in the finals Pretty one close. game. They would do that. Darkseer would suck everyone in, and then someone would blow something up. <laughs> Pretty much. My ult was doing some damn skis. Oh, that wasn't even fair. You can't even, like, defend against that. I know. That's why it's so broken. <laughs> So anyway, the, I, honestly, next news report or something, we or we could just record an alien special, Josh. And I could I could rattle off alien propaganda for eight hours alien or whatever. Special. So it's this whole thing about who who is the real victor. And it, he came out. He was on the Art Bell show. You can listen to the radio interview. It was like an hour and a half. It's, it's it is really interesting to listen to, and it it's pretty cool. I mean, you can tell at the beginning he's like kind of nervous, and as the thing goes on. Uh, he, he opens up a little bit more, and he doesn't answer any super specific question that could identify his clearance or anything where they could ever identify him. You know, it's not like he's just answering every question straight up, you know, he's like really, you know, kind of secretive with a lot of stuff. Oh, Fuel Scepter of Divinity. That's cool. Oh, I have been noticing I'm beginning more unique items now. They're like uncommon now if I get an item, which is still done. I get chess, god damn it. That's cool. Let's see. Gold per minute, XP per minute. Josh, we were about on par. We, we we kicked ass that game, man. We did a pretty good job. I know, dude. We practically really in the beginning, even though uh, we were lagging. All right. Or at least I was lagging. Was, it worked out. I was lagging. So um, anyway, it was it was pretty cool. I forget where I was going with all this Victor stuff. Oh yeah. Well, then we watched another interview with this guy, Bob Dean, who we're pretty sure is Victor. He's actually a, a, a <laughs> UFOologist that used to work in the military, and like if this guy, Bob Dean. Like, you know, that really likes aliens and stuff, ha actually had the opportunity. You know, if he was in Area 51 and that situation that Victor described was true, this guy, like, he's a, a, a real person. You know, he, he can't admit that he stole footage. So, like, but it makes sense that he would be one person that would have clearance. Because when you listen to him talk, man, and there's some similar cadence in the rhythm. I mean, the pitches are, are way different, but I don't know. You can, the, some of the silhouette matching up, too, is like, I don't know, Josh. It's pretty cool. I'm really into the, the alien conspiracies. I mean, I still don't get it. I mean, if they're so smart, why do they make such stupid mistakes? To the aliens? Yeah. Well, he talks the about aliens that. aliens can, like, do all this stuff. Well, he talks about that. His theory is that it's intentional. It, they, like, basically, he said, alien, we, we first saw aliens in, like, the 19... Well, they, they've been around for, like, 2,000 years. But in the 1950s and 60s... Or, no, when was the... Yeah, throughout the Cold War, the aliens were here because, like... Um, th th there were more sightings than the big thing that is like good testimonies are Air Force pilots because they're people that actually understand like what things flying in the sky look like and like something like 50% mm -hmm. of most UFO reports come from like um, US Air Force pilots which is kind of interesting I mean a lot of them do come from people and this Victor guy said he said probably I would guess at least 50 to 60 percent of all the UFO sightings are just wishful thinking but that he, he uh, you know according to him during the Cold War that's when the aliens were coming because they were afraid we were gonna blow each other up with all of our nuclear weapons so they were like working with the government and stuff and he said when uh, uh, the Americans first saw them they thought it was the Russians when the Russians first saw them they thought it was the Americans with all, some sort of new technology and then you know they flew up and we fired at them and he said anytime we fired at them they they would use like an EMP thing and like the plane would just lose electricity and you know we, after losing X amount of billion dollar planes we decided well all right can't really do any do anything so we got to ignore them 
And he said, like, the, the two aliens, uh, supposedly they've had two aliens in, ca in captivity, one in, like, the 50s and one in, like, the 70s. And he, this guy contends that it was all, pur it was very purposeful. Like, we shot them down, but it was because the aliens allowed themselves to be shot down. And so that we can, you know, communicate with it. He, his theory was that it's, it's, it's a test, you know, it's like a... That, uh, a test to see like sort of like that South Park episode if you've seen it with the Large Hadron Collider where it's like a test to see if we're evolved enough and because and he said why do you think you haven't heard or he said notice how you haven't heard about it yet I think that means we're failing the test you know that was like one of his little sound bites it's like that that's it and that's like you know assuming that this footage is true and he said you know they had the aliens uh, trying to interview them but they don't they don't speak so it's like all telepathy and they they bring in like you know human quote psychics you know just like he said it's the same people that you call like late at night that's the government figured well if anybody can communicate with them these so-called telepaths can but he said it, he doesn't really buy that they were really able to communicate with it so it's it's kind of interesting man it, it's I, I, I can show you the i mean the, the clip is kind of cheesy like it's hard to say if it's it's just low quality it's like really dark and stuff you know i mean i could see it being real or i could see it being fake there's really no easy way to tell I mean, you could easily reproduce it now with modern, you know, art and props and whatnot. So on that note, Josh, I think that wraps it up. Um, alien. Aliens. <laughs> Josh, there's way more to it. I mean, I could go on and on. I've listened to a lot of testimonial in the, over the past two days, and it's, it, it a is... A lot of testimony. A lot of testimonial, man. Well, that's pretty much all there is, but it is pretty interesting. Re regardless, even if it's all a hoax, it's still interesting to think about, so... I'll leave you with that. Josh, you have any Makes closing statements story. for us? Any any thoughts, comments? Not, not much. I think it's like 60. I think someone had a count on it's like 60 days till the election or something like that. Getting ready for the debate. Jesus, dude. Is it, is it really debating. coming up that soon? It's in November, right? Wow. You're right. You're right. Jeez, it doesn't feel like it, but you're totally right, man. Yeah. Well, I'm that'll be interesting. I'm debating. I can't I'm wait. Mitt Romney versus Obama. Yeah. Oh, the Obama. debates. That'll give us a lot to talk about on this report. <laughs> That'll be good stuff. Good yep. stuff, indeed. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Follow both of us on Twitter at Zayori TV and at JD Hyper. Uh, we should be here probably regular time next. I think I have to cast a tournament. So, you know, from like 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. again. But we'll probably news report. It might be a little late, but uh, there will be a news report of sorts. I think that does it. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other. We'll see you on another cast.